Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We just discovered this whole new foresty area and unlocked a shortcut that brings us back to the garden here. So, let's head back to the foresty area and explore it some more. hole down there and a guard that goes up and down it. Um, I lifted that winch up. Nothing on the winch. Probably something to do with that later. We could go back to the far tower. We should probably go back here and explore a bit more. I want to get to that central structure. So where's that guard? Oh, I see a red rose. Ah, they're going back up. Cool. And it looks like this leads to the far tower. This little walkway, and this is where we came from, right? Yes. Okay. Obelisk chest key. I'm guessing a wind is going to blow this candle out, too. Oh, no. That one lit up. Huh, so maybe you have to, like, light them in a certain order or something. Yoth, or Yoth, eh? She fought and fell with grace. Looks like the picture of a scat beetle on it. Oh, that wasn't a rose, it was a holly bush. That, however, is a rose. I've already got 11 out of 17 roses. Just the one to read, right? Yes. News reached the village that the Rat Guard had seized the mine, demanding longer shifts, sinking new shafts and digging deep, too deep, into caverns light was never meant to reach. The wind changed, blowing from the west, through the mine, and with it, carried on gossamer sails near invisible to the eye, came the spiders, hatchlings, drifting down, into Hamel's fields, burrowing unseen into the earth. Okay, I can't open the tower. I wonder if there's an alternate way in. So we already went around that, that way. I don't think there was any way in from that direction. Can I climb this tree? Just out of curiosity. No. Okay, no collision for it. Didn't explore very much over there past where the guard is, though. Let's hang out here for a second. Or maybe just parkour up here. Yeah, that works too. A poet at heart, a warrior by circumstance, spared the torment of the emerald fire by his love's merciful blade. Hmm. So it's not nighttime that's making them blow out or not. I think they do need to be done in a certain order. They're coming back up. Let's see if there's anything here. Can I maybe get on top of that arch? There's a doorway up there. Certainly can't reach it, though. Or, I mean, a window, rather. Oh, 
Ooh, that was close. Hmm. Guess we can't get in there for now. Unless, maybe lighting these candles in the right order would do it. The wind is a warning to honor the dead in the order they fell. Yeah, definitely an order thing. Okay, so I think I figured out the order. Yes, the first one is, well, the first one that we already lit. The second one seems to be this one with the beehive next to it. Still can't get the beehive down, but I can run in here real fast. And then get out! And then after that, I tried to light um, the first one that we found over in that direction. And that didn't work. So... I'm thinking this must be the other one, because there's only four of them, so it's got to be this one. Yeah, and then we light that one all the way over here. And then that should do it. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to hope that that worked. Should we go back to the original one now? Whoops. Yeah, so they're all lit, right? Hmm. Obelisk chest key. See, I'm thinking that lighting them all probably gives you the obelisk chest key. But it didn't seem to. Is there a fifth one that I'm missing? Yeah, very strange. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do from this point on. Maybe I need a quest to complete this? But it feels like it's just like a little mini quest that you just do. And then get a key and then get something cool for it. I can't imagine I need to do anything with this beehive. I don't see why that would be linked. I did notice, though, this obelisk seems to be the only one that I can't read the inscription on. I can't read it. So that could be something important. Possibly. I think I should come back here when I have some, like, sticks and bottles and break down the beehive and... I don't know, see if there's something more here that I'm missing. But they are all lit. They're all lit right now and it seems like they're going to stay lit. I guess let's go back over here and keep exploring this direction. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's an obelisk maybe in the center of the tower. Could that be? Hmm. I was also wondering whether doing all the obelisks maybe would open up the center tower, but I don't think so. I mean, surely we would have gotten some feedback that that happened, right? Okay, let's explore down here. Oh. Crap. Gold nugget. Sweet. Oh, we're not getting in here. I guess this is the other entrance to the armory. Do you think they'll find me here? They found me! I'm trying to think of what I could do with that pulley. Can I make it go back the other direction? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. He totally can. Aw, oh, you're fine. Get up. Yeah. I was wondering if I could maybe, like, grab it and hook it to the door and, like, rip the door up or something. But no. Hmm. Okay, now who was it that was supposed to have the armory key? Was it this person? I think it was the guard in between the forest and something else. Maybe the guard up here. I kind of have to be a little bit careful because I've only got the one slippy thing and no bottles. Please go away. How long are you going to follow me for? Ah, 
Actually, could you see if they have a key on them? You can. I see a key on their belt. Okay, they have a key, so it's probably them, but let me go see if this one has a key on their belt. Looks like it's becoming daytime, too. Just very, very early dawn. I don't see one. No, it doesn't look like it, so I think it's the other guard. Okay. Let's make him slip. And let's make a count. I've only got one. Okay. Armory key, yes! I wonder if it's high security inside the armory or just outside. Hmm. Let's go ahead and close that. I wonder if they can see me through this. I mean, they should be able to, but maybe not. Need the armory magazine key. Warning. Brissence is an extremely volatile substance. Do not strike or shake. Ooh, strike or shake. My uh, flint and steel. Do not carry alone. Light fuse with candle or fire steel. Use with caution. All inquiries inquiries regarding brissons should be addressed to the smithy at the forge. Okay, so the smithy knows about this stuff. So it sounds like TNT, basically. Hmm. wonder what I can use it for. There is... Oh. I think they just woke up. There is this. No, not that. Uh, I guess it was up above. There's like a doorway that looked like it had... Uh, oh no. No, no, no. Wrong side. There's a doorway that looked like it had caved in. I wonder if we could like blast that and get through. Is the person's inside of here? I think so. I see, like, reddish containers. Finally got a bottle. Man, these weapons are in total disrepair, aren't they? All this equipment just looks like junk. Guard Greaves, another part, yes! Now we just need a chest plate and pauldrons. One piece left. I gotta remind myself to keep looking up in case I miss something. Ooh. Such as this. I feel like I just saw a prompt. What was that for? Yeah, probably just a warning or something. Or the chest. So this probably goes to the other side that I saw before, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so this leads up to the uh, the main courtyard, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. So, where do I find this key? The armory magazine key. Perhaps I should ask the blacksmith? Since they know about that stuff, they might know about the key. Also, does any armor show up on the map? Oh, I can't look at the map here. Just want to make doubly sure I got everything here. 
Looks like it. Yeah, so that armor icon still appears down there, at the bottom of the map, so that's maybe the chest piece? Let's go talk to the blacksmith. So, I couldn't get any useful information from the blacksmith when it comes to the armory and the explosives inside. I went and talked to the two mice, they also won't tell me anything, I just need to get them the checkpoints. I was gonna go talk to Silas to see if they could help me out with what I should do next, but while looking for the pathway to the garden, I found this right here, so this is just the main courtyard. There's the well right there. And I don't believe I've been in here. Looks sort of like an armory, there's some weapon stands. And a sleeping rat. Ooh, looking at the map, I think this is where the chess piece might be. Oh, uh, they're gonna wake up if I burn that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's actually two rats. Footlocker key. Ooh, almost woke him up. Someone's been playing with cards. Do these all require keys? Yeah. So now that I know you can actually see the key on the guard's belt, which I should have been looking for before, I'm going to look at every single guard's belts! Go back to sleep. Nighty night. Well, we know where the armor is. <laughs> oh, this even flies around the chamber pots. Ugh. on them. So they're all opened with a single key. Why do I bother searching the chamber bots? There's like never anything in them. Final piece of armor. Yes! Symbol suit of armor, now I just need to find an antidote to spider venom. Right, so we still need to become the new uh, apothecary's assistant. Which we need to take some papers from a certain person somewhere, I forgot where. Have to double check. But uh, we should be able to put on the guard uniform now, which might make it so that the guards won't bother me. I don't remember how to do that though. I mean, I could individually put on all the pieces of armor, of course. But there's a easier way. X to put on costume. So I think that'll put on the entire costume. Yeah, there we go. Now you look like a scrawny rat recruit. <laughs> Emphasis on scrawny. Really, really scrawny. I'm such a tiny rat. And I still have the loot on my back. <laughs> oh my god, look at me. Oh, look at that waddle. That's adorable. Look at the sprint. This is the sprint. Oh my god, that is just too cute. <laughs> Those rats are really not very observant, are they? So yeah, not exactly the way we're going to want to move around the world, I think. 
all over the place. Because we can't move very fast. The good thing is I can sprint infinitely, but the bad news is the sprint is pretty much like the walking speed. But that is going to be very, very helpful for getting around guards. Which is, I mean, at the moment, that's like practically everywhere. Hmm. So how are our stats looking? Resistance to weapons and fire, very good. Falling, decent. Poison, nothing. Hmm. Gives you resistance to falling? I would think, if anything, it'd make falling worse because you weigh so much, you know? Yeah, our own Garp has no resistance to falling. Huh. Okay. So if we burn this, it's going to wake him up, right? Are they going to blame me? Or... Hmm. Become alarmed, but I guess they just ignore me. I'm just a recruit. I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I feel like there might be an easier way to switch costumes than even that. Because even that's a little bit messy. Because you got to, like, look at which... You know, like, find a piece of a thief costume. It's kind of weird. Well, I can't find any better way. It's not like it's a terrible way to switch. I just wish there was, like, a super quick menu to do it. Like a radial menu or something like that. Also, when I was messing around with controls, I realized if I press Y on the controller while I'm wearing this... <laughs> I give a little rat salute. <laughs> Alright, let's waddle around here. Oh. Oh, I can't jump! I just realized that. Yeah, you can't jump when you're in this armor. Huh. I feel like it told me there was an easier way to switch. Because I'm going to want to switch a lot, right? Like, just to get up here and get this stuff. Where would that footlocker key be? I'm thinking it's probably on one of the sleeping guards, but... Can't find it. Yeah, I don't think there's any easier way to do it. Um, this is the little, like, costume book in my books tab, and it says, From your inventory, a costume can be equipped or unequipped at the press of a button. So I think that's the message I was thinking of. Which is true, it's just that... Ah, it's just the fact that you can press X on any one of the parts of the costume that's kind of weird to me. Oh, it looks like if you press X on the costume you just put on, you go back to your old costume. So I could just do like that to switch real fast. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's fine. Oh! I just stole that rat's handkerchief from their back. I don't know if that's because I'm wearing the guard costume, or if you could always steal it from their back if you get right behind them. So maybe you don't need to knock them out to steal their keys. That would make sense. That one woke up because I burned a flag over there. I want to see if you can, like... Salute them, and maybe they salute back. Good morning. Just a scrawny rat. <laughs> and they're none the wiser. Salute. Nah, they don't care. A elevator gate guard. Am I going to speak with him? Halt. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have spoken with him. The lower keep and harbor are closed. Commander's orders. The, the gate's closed? Why? <laughs> I just imagine I have a really squeaky voice. <laughs> Commander sending a squad in the catacombs to deal with the spiders. Oh, so this is where I'm going to be able to pass once I've got everything. Okay. Off limits until then. Okay. Private Scow, isn't it? Commander wants to see you in his office. Where is the commander's office? Heck if I know. Well, I think I'm going to head over to Silas and see if they can remind me who I need to get the, um, like, the apothecarist's assistant papers from. Ah, okay, so I just spoke with Silas and they said that, uh, what was it, a harem or something like that has the scroll that I need about the apothecarist, and they said that they are the guard on the ramparts below, which is just down here. But as I was coming down here, I realized, now that I can, you know, more comfortably get a look around this place and not worry too much about being seen... I found the War Room chest key. So 
So is this the war room or is it like up above? I think it might be up above. I also stole their handkerchief, by the way. Some waddle on up here. Oh wait, no, there's the chest over there. Oop. Well. Unlock. Hide. Thief's belt. Nice. Just tunic and hat. Two more parts. I love that running pitter-patter in the animation. So yeah, there's the person right there. I think I see a belt a scroll in their belt. Hello there, friend. Good day. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, so I can't jump, but I actually can get up on things. Well, that's weird. The cipher message is the same icon as this other cipher message. I guess that's just like a generic code icon, which is odd. Oh, it's the same sort of thing, actually. The frog has the key. Leak, marrow, turnip. Hmm? That's like a mnemonic or something, I'm guessing. Unless you actually need those ingredients for something. But, uh, yeah, I think I need to go speak with the frog, I believe it said. Yeah, talk to frog prisoner. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to speak with the frog.